Cool. So, Neil, thanks for having me. And uh, I'm Eric Mizapuka. I'm actually here with Epson America. And uh, just as a quick intro, uh, when Neil kind of made the announcement about the ITA, the first thing that uh, Ben Gilbert from uh, Engadget posted was Oculus VR, EA Avogadro, and others to join the uh, Immersive Technology Alliance. And uh, obviously Epson was included above. And I think the funny thing I found was uh, two comments, Epson, and then you got, they're working on an Oculus printer that shoots in, into your eyes. You get black and white for free, but each additional color costs 80 bucks and it's beautiful and smiley. Um, it all really speaks to you know, that common perception of Epson as a printer company. But what a lot of people don't know about Epson is that we, every year, we're around the top 10 in number of patents awarded in the U.S. Um, we actually have, um, you know, the, the leading share of projector sales, um, not only in the U.S., but in the world. Um, we own all of our core technology, um, you know, even the, the three LCD chip that is in Epson projectors and a number of other manufacturers, uh, we actually own that core technology. So, um, we're here at the ITA, um, largely to advocate our projector platforms and figure out you know, how we can get um, our projection technology into um, more VR systems and applications. And obviously, we specialize in hardware. Um, we're definitely looking to partner with folks in the software space, um, like uh, Sebastian and Lee. Um, the product that we, we have and that we announced at CES is the Moverio BT200 Smart Glasses. Um, so it is an augmented reality platform um, that does run the full Android operating system. And um, it does enable you know, some very light VR types of applications. We do have a front-facing camera as well as uh, head tracking integrated into the system as well. Um, so we would definitely be looking to partner with folks like Lee. Um, so it does consist of two pieces. Uh, the glasses, you'll notice it is completely transparent. We do have a small projector in each leg of the glasses and uh, basically a, a light guide or waveguide optic um, to be able to refract that image back into your field of view. But essentially what you get is you know, a large screen experience kind of um, right there in front of you. We do have the ability to support 3D as well. So we do side-by-side -side 3D. Um, we are going to be showing a demo in uh, Qualcomm's Euphoria um, booth at GDC as well, which is kind of a, a game that was developed by Namco Bandai, which is a um, tabletop 3D augmented reality um, experience. So definitely recommend uh, going to check that out. Um, but like I said, we do run the, the full Android operating system, so any number of Android apps will, will work kind of standard on our platform. Um, but we are obviously looking for applications that are specific to, to our glasses and can take advantage of the transparency, the ability to do 3D, um, and you know, we're really here at the ITA to kind of talk to folks, network, and find out um, you know, how best to partner and kind of where, where the industry is headed. Um, so last but not least, um, you know, we are, at this point, you know, a lot of our, our gaming applications are very light demos. Um, light virtual reality experiences, kind of exploratory types of augmented reality uh, content. Um, but we are exploring kind of multiplayer experiences that we think are, are very interesting. Um, we are working with uh, third party kind of gesture input devices such as the Mayo, um, a, a number of kind of prototype rings um, so we're really interested in um, exploring unique UI, UX types of applications. Um, the other thing that we're doing is, and actually this image did not show up um, how I expected, but um, we do have a second screen application that we're also exploring uh, for the gaming market. So one of the things that we have prototyped is if you wear the Moveria glasses, you can actually see content around your television. And as you move your head and you track, you can actually have um, supplemental information tied to the game, tied to the experience, whether it's a Twitter feed or you're watching um, other video content or have other stats, things you're looking up around the television. You know, that's something we're exploring. So a lot of what we're looking into as it relates to gaming, um, you know, maybe uh, 
two plus years out. Um, but we're here at the ITA to really figure out, you know, what are the needs of, you know, a transparent display? And, you know, how are some of the unique, what are some of the unique applications that Epson can start investing in? And, um, you know, for demos, feel free to uh, shoot me a, a tweet at, at WT Eric, or like I said, uh, we'll, we're showing off some demos at the Euphoria booth um, out on the show floor.